Wizards of the West Coast. Tapping out, slinging spells. I hate your deck. This was for, for the for, for the, the horn. For the horn. Praise me. Okay. Praise me. Get done. Uh, there was just all big <laughs> swingy yeah. swingies. If you really want to support I Hate Your Deck, there's a lot of ways to help support us. Number one way is through Patreon. Patreon is a great place where you get to join our community. We have a Discord where we play a lot of magic with our friends. And there's such a community of people from around the world in our Discord. So if you want access to our deck list, do you want to play magic with a lot of people from all over the world and interact or help brew your decks? The I Hate Your Deck Discord through Patreon will help you get all that done. Hey, if you've been liking I Hate Your Deck, hit the like, subscribe, and ring that bell to get notifications when we have new episodes coming out. And we also have bonus episodes. If you want to see those bonus episodes that were too hot for YouTube, join our Patreon to check that out. Wizards of the West Coast. Tapping out, slinging spells. I hate your deck. We want to give you the true LGS experience. We show up, sling spells, and have fun. Now meet our players for this episode. What's up, everyone? <laughs> it's Lynch from I Hate Your Deck. Welcome to another episode where we always have spiciness. We got another patron with us. We got friends with us. We got a lot of things going on. As always, I love playing paper magic with my patrons and my friends. <laughs> or with my friends and my patrons. You like playing with people. I like enjoying playing with people. Hello, I'm Eileen. Good to always be back, and today I plan on bringing a little disgusting, horrible spice, and I can't wait to subject these lovely people to that pain. What's up? It's Randy again. Hopefully this time I do not get squashed by Eileen again, or maybe Lynch and I can finally have some nice politics. I don't know. <laughs> you might need a politic with Roper. I, I might it's politic sleeper, with Roper. Sleeper killer I, over here. We're next mm. to killers. It's really Eileen versus Roper. Who's going to come out on top? Here I am Evil in my little pillow Evil. fort. Hey guys, I'm Roper. I'm, I'm here to have to make friends and to uh, not crush anyone's spirits. I'm sorry. Are we playing magic? We're we playing patty cake. <laughs> <laughs> with that said, let's talk about rule zero. All right, guys, I'm excited to play Thalia the Gitrog Monster. Thalia the Gitrog Monster, it's a human fog. It's a human frog horror. First strike, death touch. You may play additional land on each of your turns. Creatures not basic land, your opponent's control and the battlefield tapped. Whenever Thalia and the Gitrog Monster attack, sacrifice a creature or land and draw a card. I get to play additional lands and your stuff comes and tap your creatures and non-basics because the fact that it's Thalia literally riding Gitrog and there's two different arts of it if you wanted to take a look at it. And I just think it's awesome seeing her riding the Gitrog like, yo, we're gonna tear it up, son. It's not like Gitrog CDH because it's like you just go nuts with the Gitrog because mm -hmm. it is Thalia. So it is like, this deck is trying to blend those two ideas of having a Thalia and a Gitrog deck because I didn't just go full like, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. like CDH Gitrog monster. Ideally, because I have first strike and death touch, that I get to have fun swinging, and hopefully you don't want to touch it. Yeah, we'll, we'll see Frog, how much fun we're having. We'll see how much fun. To be sure. Well, but I spent the last three days reconstructing this deck, so I haven't been able to find all the cards for him. So there are proxies in here. Totally cool, your proxy. This is an old build. It is what I call Elf Ball Black Stacks. So it uses things like Necrogen Mists, Oppression, Discard, shenanigans, and I make elves for it and then run you all over. There's Mana Crypt, Jewel Lotus, I think, and Soul Ring are the three main fast mana. There are no infinite combos. There's three or four tutors. But yeah, I'm pretty much just trying to destroy your hands while gaining a bunch of value out of it. Integrid is in the deck. Oh, gross. <laughs> can't wait, can't wait to gross. see that. I'm gonna play Ronar the Ever Watchful. Flying Vigilance, two, three. The first card I foretell each turn costs zero to foretell. So I'm going to put a lot of cards upside down and you won't know until it's too late. But whenever I exile one or more cards from my hand and or permanents from the battlefield, I get to create spirits. Theme of this deck is that I'm going to make sure I have a lot of flying things. You'll never expect what I'm gonna flip over. That's the theme here. What are you bringing today? All right, I brought Omnath, Locus of Mana. So this is mono green Omnath. The theme is big mana. I've got a couple of fast mana, like Soul Ring and Jewel Lotus in there, but lots of creatures to spend that mana on. Omnath is gonna get really big if I store up that mana and I'll be hopefully able to hit someone hard with that. Disclosure, there's a Crater Hoof in there and there's no Turgrid in there. There is the Hoof, the hoof in this deck. I hate to go there. Now enjoy the show. Let's roll to see who goes first. So. 
Me calling it. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I only got it. You called it. Cool. I'm Hopefully last. Draw your seven. Draw Let's be kind of in your favor. Four turn. I will go ahead and play a wooded foothills. I will pass the turn. You're not okay. Don't I'll, worry about my I'll life draw. total. I'll draw for turn. I will play a savanna. I will tap that savanna. I will play an exploration. You may play an additional land at each of your turns and play <laughs> yeah. Dauntless Shrine tapped and pass. All right. I'm gonna draw. Forest for turn. Tap for land war elves. Makes sense. We could be elf friends. Do you think that's possible? Maybe. I'm okay with this. <laughs> yeah, I'm with this right. turn. Draw with... During your upkeep to okay. save time, I will tap it, crack it, sack it. Okay. Let's play a snow-covered plains. I'm gonna pass turn. Should have just done it on your turn. <laughs> You're holding everyone up. So. Don't look at me. <laughs> I'll save the time because I won't be fetching in my mono green deck, so. <laughs> mono players, thank you for searching less than all of us greedy multicolor players. Yeah, Except you Kyrick players. I'm gonna get Overgrown Tomb. Untap, upkeep, draw. Ancient Tomb, I can tap it to make two mana and it does two damage to me. I will tap that for two for Arcane Signet. I will tap two for a Priest of Titania. Elf friend. Oh. I can tap it to add one green to my mana pool for each elf on the battlefield. That's one, me too. Let's go. Two. Pass the turn. Untap. Draw. Forest. Ah, the suspense <laughs> is killing me. Tap three. Kodama's Reads. I get two basics. One goes to hand, one goes there to the battlefield go. tapped. So I'll put a forest tapped onto the battlefield. Yeah, I'll get the swamp that'll go to my hand. I'm then going to play a fabled passage. Tap it second Crack it. for my second land for turn and go get a basic. So I'll, I'll put... I'll pass turn. All right. Because I put the forest in the Untap, I'll keep draw. Forest, and I didn't come here not to play my commander, so here's my commander, Omnath Locus of Mana. 1-1, one, one, and you don't lose unspent green mana as steps and phases end, and Omnath Locus of Mana gets plus one, plus one for each unspent green mana you have. So I can uh, store up mana, and Omnath gets bigger as I... Untap, upkeep, draw. Because I sorry, because I have four or more, not that it matters, this would Comes get in. untapped, yeah. Yep. The plebeian over here. Yeah, I'm just gonna play that island. <laughs> Only a tapping with two mana. We're about to see like untap, upkeep, draw. So not Twilight mine. Mire. This for two green. We use one of it to go into Twilight Mire for green black. Two three. Blues down. Cast Nath of the Guilt Leaf. It is a 4-4 elf warrior at the beginning of my upkeep. I may have target opponent discard a card at random. Whenever an opponent discards a card, I create a 1-1 green elf warrior creature token. I will tap two for a Chains of Mestafa... Mestafa... This card's really hard for me to say. Chains... Metaphosceles. Chain of Mestafeles? Yeah, Mephistopheles. 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 I don't like this card. If a player would draw a card, they must discard a card first. If they do, draw a card. If you cannot discard a card this way, you mill a card instead. So effectively, if you were to draw a card, you have to discard one, draw one. Not include including the first one each okay. turn. Every card draw after that, you must have something to discard to it first or mill. And this is symmetrical. This does affect me as well. I will pass the turn. Untap. Draw for turn. Safe. You're safe on this one. I'm going to play a swamp. Then I'm going to play a planes for my second land for a turn. This is gross. He only has ramp spells, so I don't know how scared we should be. Then I'm going to tap the swamp planes and a forest and another forest to cast. Let's do it. Great. So Thalia and the Gitrog Monster. First strike, Death Touch. You may play an additional land on each of your turns, and now I can play another land. Creatures and non-basic lands your opponent's control enter the battlefield tapped. Whenever Thalia and the Gitrog Monster attack, sacrifice a land or a creature, and then draw a card. <laughs> yeah, Ooh, Chains yeah. is going to have a field day with me. Now I do get to play another land due to Gitrog. So I will go ahead and play. This is kind of getting a little gross. I will then Just go ahead and bit. tap two, and I will cast Swift Foot Boots. The boots with the fur. <laughs> Look at the two lands versus the eight lands. <laughs> I mean, he's only got one card left there because the rest was lands, apparently. <laughs> yeah. I will go ahead and tap one, and I will equip the boots to the Gitrog monster. Sorry. So now it's got Hexproof and Haste. So now I can attack with it, and it's a first strike. I'm going to swing at you on the attack trigger. I have to sacrifice a creature or a land, and then the stupid chain of Metaphysophiles is gonna happen. Metaphysophiles. Yeah? All right, so I have to sack a land, so I'll sack a forest. 
you have to discard a card first. Okay, so now I discard a card. Life now in the loam. you draw the card. Now I draw a card. And because you discarded, I will make an elf. Yeah, yeah, I'm not blocking One, that. two, three, four. It's end of my turn. Untap, upkeep, have our safe draw. Let's play Castle Garen Bridge. It comes in untapped because I control a forest. Oh, it comes in tapped because of uh, Thali and the Gitrog monster. Yes. It... Get dug. Uh, I got dug done just then. <laughs> that is for sure true. Dude, the frog and Thali were like, nope, nope, nope. I'm gonna tap three. Yep. A sword of feast and famine. Oh. Equipped creature gets plus two plus two and has protection from black and from green. Whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, that player discards a card and you untap all lands you control. I'm just gonna leave Omnath back for now. But that and that's gonna be my turn. Untap up keep draw. Do, 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 do. Regular planes this time. Do what this. you got, Randy? Let's do this. I'm gonna tap three to play Soul Herder. That's gonna come in tapped. Soul Herder is a 1-1 one, one spirit. Whenever a creature is exiled from the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on Soul Herder. Beginning of your end step, you may exile another target creature you control, then return that card to the battlefield under your, its owner's control. In general, you know, read the card, explains the card. Read the manual, explains the manual on how to operate anything in life. Honestly, sometimes it's just like, how bad is your dyslexia today? <laughs> I feel that. And being blind in one eye doesn't help. <laughs> I think I am done. Untap. Someone's about to discard. Upkeep. Upkeep trigger cards in hand. One, five, five, six. You. You. Oh, I, I mean, you could choose me, but also, mm -hmm. like, th this is the scarier board state at the moment. Like, don't you At worry. the moment, but I'm not, as we know, <laughs> pop off. And, and right it. now, he's not doing much. It's at random, yeah. Yes. Six is a reroll. Six is a reroll. So from left to right, one, two, three, four, five. Two. This one. Ooh. Ooh. Eva, Nature's Herald. So that will create an elf, which comes in tapped. Draw step. Pre combat main phase. Okay. I will play a swamp as my land for turn. Tap here. This makes one, two, three, four green mana. I have one elf. Five. Oh, five green mana. Black and one leaving four and sacking the elf to cast Diabolic Intent. So this says, as an additional cost, sacrifice a creature. Search my library for a card, put it into my hand, shuffle my library. Randy, don't talk about the pops that went in the graveyard, the 30 million. I know, I'm sorry. I'm quiet Sad now. Face. But it's true, right? It's That's, true. It's, it's not, it's not it's like true. a, a no. false? No, it's Really, it, it, 30 million pops, it's, it's a, a business decision to dump them. Yes. And now you have people searching dumpster divers everywhere. They are all looking for the landfill that- What if Magic control. 30 and those are together? Oh my God. <laughs> you tutored for a card and went to your hand? Yep. I will tap these three to make three black to cast Necropotence. Oh, snap. So That's a replacement effect? The skip your draw step is a replacement effect. Skip my draw step. Whenever I discard a card, exile that card from my graveyard. Pay one life, exile the top card of my library. Put that card into your hand at the beginning of your next end step. So I'm gonna spend three of the floating green mana to cast Elvish Harbinger. When it enters the battlefield, I may search my library for an elf card, reveal it, and then shuffle my library and put that card on top and I can tap it for one any colored mana. That's I, fucking terrifying over there. This is looking pretty scary, y'all. I wonder if we do have to have a truce. Are, are we friends? Jelly bean, uh, are we What friends? is the word? Are we... Um... I'm just so scared of jelly beans all the time. They're like so scary. <laughs> it's hard to put those prejudices down. It is. <laughs> the jelly beans are a very scary bunch. I tutored for Elvis Harbinger going to go get Reclamation Sage. And that'll go there. I will spend five life. <laughs> I know where I would send it. <laughs> uh, to exile the top five cards in my library. One, All right, we're just two, we're starting off slow. Three, four, five. I will go to my end step, put these cards into my hand, and pass the turn. <sighs> Untap. I have to make a decision. Untap. Draw. Well, now you're basically doing like ad nauseum with Necropotence, but yeah. I had to continue to pressure your life total because of that. So I will have to swing at you for my first strike death touch. I'm gonna float three mana, one of each color. I will sack a forest to get Rog's ability. Then I would normally draw, but to interrupt that, I'm going to dredge three. You're applying that replacement effect over this one. Yes, instead of drawing and instead of having to do the chain, I'm going to dredge three. So I get to return this to my hand, and then I mill three put cards. mill three cards. One, two, 
three. Oh. Mm. What was that second one? Abrupt Decay, Crucible oh. Worlds, and Vampire oh, 2. All very juicy cards. <laughs> Before I lose this three floating, I will beast within the Necropotence. Sure. Clean black hammer spells? No? This was... For, for the, for for the, the, the horn. horn. For the horn. Praise be. Praise okay. be. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, beast? Yes. This man is all gone. Okay. That was floating uh -huh. from the tapped. So you're taking the damage or you're blocking? And he's got first right to touch. Blocking it with a elf. Hey, it denies your resources. I'm gonna tap a swamp in a forest to go ahead and cast the life from one. I'll return three target land cards from the graveyard in my hand. I only have three to grab. Fable passage and the two forests. Mm -hmm. This will go back into my graveyard. I haven't played a land for turn. Play one forest, play a second forest, play a fabled passage. We'll tap a crack it. We'll go get a land that will cut it untapped. Yes. I'll put a planes into play. Okay, I'll tap these four. I'll cast World Shaper. Whenever World Shaper attacks, you may put top three cards of your library into your graveyard. When it dies, put all land cards from your graveyard onto the battlefield tapped. That's a good one for that deck. Especially yeah. when I can sack a creature instead of a land with the Gitrog ability. I'll pass the turn. Upkeep, draw. Three minutes. And Vampire Tutor. And abrupt decay. That was like, pretty. I'm gonna tap two to equip Sword of Feast and Famine to Omnath. Wow. No way. Yeah. Who saw this coming? I'm going. I'm going here. Un Who would have thought? Unsurprising. So I'm gonna go to combat. Declare Omnath as an attacker. How okay. much? You're so, <laughs> so mad that you got to dis you discard it angrily. Whoop. In response to no blockers, I'm going to tap Forest, Forest, and Land War Elves to float green mana to pump Omnath. So he, he's gonna get plus three from this, plus two from sword, and, plus, and he's already won one, so that's six damage from Omna. Floating three, lands on tap. Watch, uh, Randy's gonna win because we have to target each other, and all of a sudden, no. he comes out of nowhere. I, I hope he does. He's, he's, he's playing fair magic over there, one land per turn. That's that's good wholesome stuff. I've only played one <laughs> land per turn. Shush. <laughs> Shush. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Elves count as lands, too. I'm gonna play doubling cube for two. Oh, crap. Oh, Jesus Christ. So it's three mana tap, double the amount of each type of mana in your mana pool. I want to be part of the elf gang a little bit more, so I'm going to play some elves. I'm going to play Draga Tree Speaker or Green. Who needs cards in hand? Let's play Silvala as well. We're going down to one. Silvala, Heart of the Wild. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield, its controller may draw a card. If its power is greater than each other creature's power. Green, tap. Add X in any combination of colors to your mana pool, where X is the greatest power among creatures you control. That's my turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. Let's tap three. For Cosima, God of the Voyage. 2-4, Legendary God. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may exile Cosima. If you do, it gains whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control. If Cosima is exiled, you put a Voyage counter on it. If you don't, return Cosima to the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it and draw X cards where X is the number of Voyage counters on it. Azorius Chancery, I'm going to bounce a Snow Cover Plains back to my hand. Beginning of my end step. Cosima enters tapped. Then I'm just going to go to the beginning of my end step. Cosima bounces. Soul Horror will get a plus one plus one and Cosima will return. Tapped. Untap upkeep. There's a lot of green in this board. Discard a card at random. I knew that was going. That's why I, I tried to play out my hand. I'm gonna discard a Pathbreaker Ibex. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> It's a good card. That it's is, a good card. I would rather have card. it in my hand than in my graveyard. I will go ahead and pre-combat main phase. Tapped. Ah! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yes. Come on. Roll yes. please, roll please. <laughs> and I sound like the Austrian. <laughs> I'll tap three, lose. Yep, that's the one. Cast Reclamation Sage. Who saw this coming? I... Who could have? No, 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 no I didn't see it. It's coming against Sword Feast and Famine, I presume. Yeah. Okay. That, that that's, needs that's a fair to choice. go. That's a fair choice. She's been very scary this whole time. Hey, so yeah, I've she, always been scared. Yeah, yeah, you have proper threat assessment. Yeah, three, three elves for me. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight green mana. Three green mana and a black. Marin, Land of Neltop. So whenever a creature I control dies, get an experience counter. At the beginning of my end step, choose target creature card in my graveyard. If that creature's CMC is less than or equal to the number of experience counters, you may return it to the battlefield. Otherwise, put it in my hand. So she'll come in tapped. He comes in tapped. I will use one more green, make double black, and one more 
to cast Braids, a Risen Nightmare. Braids, a Risen Nightmare is a 3-3 at the beginning of my end step. I may sacrifice an artifact, creature, enchantment, land, or planeswalker. If I do, each opponent may sacrifice a permanent that shares a card type with it. For each opponent who doesn't, that player loses two life and I draw a card. Now keep in mind, chains will affect me as well if I draw cards from that. I will tap this for black, this for black, and using three more to cast Liliana Vess. Planeswalker starts with five loyalty, plus one target opponent discards a card. Minus two, tutor my library for a card, put it on top of my library, Where'd shuffle. I am going to minus two, goes to three, and I will tutor my library for a card. Tutoring, pass thing that are going to my end step, and I am going to sacrifice the Reclamation Sage. I will lose two life. Sacrifice Reclamation Sage to Brage, trigger Marin. I will get an experience counter. Everyone's Same. losing. So I will discard, draw. Discard, draw. Discard, draw. Careful, that one goes back on top. Oh, shit. Now you're past that, my turn? Mm hmm Untap, draw for turn. I'll play one, lose a life, tack it, crack it, cycle. I'll Add. get the overgrown tomb. Real quick, Lynch. Also, the Marin trigger at the end of turn, I will turn Rex Sage to my hand. Those were two end step triggers. Damn. Overgrown will come in tapped. Have to swing it to you again. You don't have to. <laughs> you are in the lead. This is not up for debate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Negotiations. Like, like, putting so. Rex Sage back in your hand, I yeah. have to come at you. Negotiations no. have failed. Have to. <laughs> I will swing at you. So I will, have, I will have to hit you. Yeah, when it attacks, you may put the top three cards of your library in your graveyard, and I'll just do that. Result One, first. two, three. Okay, then yes. I will go ahead. I'll select the overgrown okay. tomb. Instead of drawing a card, I'm going to dredge three. So I'm going to put the life and loam in my hand. One, braids. Wow, twinsies. Conduit of world, and the I am I all cradle of growth. You second main. I'll tap two. I'll cast life and loam. Return up to three target land cards from your graveyard to your hand. So I'll return. Yaya Maya, I'll return. Everyone enjoy your force. Command Tower, I'll return Windswept Heath. So these will go to my hand. So this is my, Yaya Maya is my second land for turn mm -hmm. because I already played the other one. Mm -hmm. And then I'll play Command Tower for the exploration additional. Yaya Maya, Cradle of Growth, each land is a force in addition to its other land types. Okay. And then I will pass the turn. Untap, draw for turn. Dredge, dredge, dredge. Dude, you have double the cube. I have the link cube. I'm gonna start by leveling up Draga Tree Speaker. Level one. Level one. Okay. So now it taps for green, green. One, two, three, four, five, six. That makes Omnath a seven, seven. Oh, yeah. Pay one to tap Silvala for six, because mm -hmm. Omnath is now a six, six, so I paid the one. Oh, I'm at cool. 11 green. Tap doubling cube for three. So we're going down to eight. eight. Doubles it up 16. to 16. I'm gonna cast Quarter Calling where X equals eight, so a total of 11. I'm gonna go down to five floating green mana, and I'm going to search for a creature with eight or less converted mana cost and put it onto the battlefield. Thinking about it, thinking about it. I'm, I'm gonna choose. All right, you, you, you guys did see this coming. Crater Hoof Behemoth. Whoa. So mysterious. <laughs> Two. Haste. When Creator of Behemoth enters the battlefield, creatures you control gain trample and get plus X plus X until end of turn where X is number of creatures you control. That's plus five, I believe. It will come in tapped. It will come in tapped. Ooh, I can't swing it. Oh, that is frustrating. That's what's been screwing me up this whole time is because all my blockers are all tapped. <laughs> yep, so my Omneth is currently 11, 11, and it's going to swing this way. Block Chumps. it? Yeah. For seven? Hey. Um, I'm gonna put you here. I have Marin Trigger, uh, two more experience counters going up to three. I blocked seven of 11, that leaves four. Th look at this disparity. <laughs> that's my, that's my. All right, untap, upkeep, draw. Untapping with five S mana. No covered planes. Let's do this. Let's tap two, play Mind Stone. Looks like the bean from Chicago. Tapping two more to then play Wall of the Omens. It's a zero four defender. When Wall of Omens enters the battlefield, draw a card. I am going to have to discard a card to be able to draw a card. So let's discard Vega, the Watcher. 
and draw a card. Snap back to reality. Oh, it's a gravity. <laughs> yeah, let's just do a Cosima again. So beginning of end step, I'm going to exile this card. It's gonna bounce back. I'm gonna put another plus one plus one soul herder, and I will pass the turn. How? To pull my ass out of whatever fire. <laughs> I'm seen. sure you, you've got a lot of tools to work with. As Larry would say, you know, you oh, brought sorry. it upon yourself with the board state. <laughs> Was that like a spray? No, just like what? a little lighter. <laughs> what, what are you gonna do? Let's keep it moving. Untap, upkeep, no triggers. So draw step. I will minus two, tutor my library for a card. I messed up the order in which I resolved these to do so. Here's the thing. She has a Rex Sage. She pops the Rex Sage. She sacrifices it to Braids, then comes back onto the battlefield yeah. immediately. Tap three to cast the Rex Sage. For I'm tapping green. this for the green. To prevent the damage. Yep. For those at home, paying attention. Yeah. I am going to blow up, hit the doubling cube. All right. So doubling cube is destroyed. That seems pretty great with any Omnat deck that keeps mana. Yeah. Seven green mana, five, using one to make green black. So seven, cast oh. Nath. I will then go to end step, rigor trigger, put this one on the stack first. Mm -hmm. So I am going to sack Rex Sage to Braids. If I have, I if I draw a right, card. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna lose my, my guy yet. The decision that goes all the way around, I'm, so I'm two. On the first one, discard a Asylum Visitor into Exile, draw. I will discard a Shaman of the Pack, draw. Discard a Jewel Lotus, draw. And I will spend the two to cast the Asylum Visitor through its Madness ability. Asylum Visitor is a 3-1 Vampire Wizard. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, if that player has no cards in hand, I draw a card and lose a life. Pass. I can't cast any. Wait, so Marin? Trigger. Marin. Thank you. But we were already in end step, though. I, I need to draw will... cards. Oh my gosh, land problems. I couldn't. Return I Elvish this, Visionary. This is killing me. When this ETBs, I will draw this a card, card, so I will discard Skull Clamp to draw. And that is all my end step triggers. Okay, now I will untap. Draw for turn. It's a land. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I need the life from Loam anymore. I think I just need to be able to discard and draw, as we talked about earlier. All right, I just had the swing of you. So I only got swing of you for four. Attack, trigger, sack a forest. I'll tap it in a second. Discard a forest, and I will draw a card. That triggers Nath, and I will get a 1-1 one, one elf. Block with the Harbinger. I'm in there with you. Okay. I gain an Ooh. experience counter from Marin. I passed. Nothing, I got nothing. Is there an upkeep trigger? That happens on my... Oh, you I have, don't I have, have any have, cards have in hand. Yeah, so yeah. you lose a life then? Sure, I'll lose a life. Assassin's Trophy. Ew. Ooh. Draw a card. I'm gonna She's draw for turn. I'm gonna cast the sorcery side of Balagad Recovery for three. Return target card from my graveyard to my hand. So I'm gonna use Don't two of my floating. So I think I'm gonna take Sword of Feast and Famine. Oh, that that's gonna give me yeah, yeah. unblockable. Makes sense. Tap three for Sword of Feast and Famine. Equip for two. Go to combat, Omnath, and Crater. So I can start with Lanoir Elves, Pang into Silvala. Yeah. Now I made five mana off of Savala. Okay. And then I pay an end of this with, with so four of those. So go down to one. Go to one. But then go up to go up six. So I'm at seven. Okay. Tap Draga Tree Speaker. You just can't use that seven mana. I can't use six of it. Six of it. Six of it has to be for creatures. Okay. We have to just keep track of that. Draga Tree Speaker for two. That's three. So I have six, seven, eight, nine. So Omnath is 10, 10. Then plus two from Sword of Feast and Famine. That's 12, which is exactly lethal on board. And then Crater Hoof. I guess at lunch. And that's a 5-5? Five, 5-5. Five? Five, five. No trample. No trample. Okay. I'll block and this will die. I will get a Fabled Passage tapped, Overgrown Tomb tapped, a Forest tapped, and another Forest tapped because World Slaper says when it dies, put all land cards from your graveyard onto the battlefield tapped. That's going over to you now. I'm gonna end my turn. You so popped off hard though. Not as hard as I could have because you were making my stuff come intact, which that was helps. messing 
everything yeah. up. Yeah. Well, it, this is, you know, it helps make things more fair. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just gotta take it a little slower. Yeah. Right? I'm gonna go untap, upkeep. Send him on a little voyage? Send him on a voyage, he's exiled. Draw, Please? soul herder trigger, yep, there we go. Whenever Play. he plays a land or something? He yep, can, Mary landscape. He Whenever a land enters the battlefield under my control, if Cosima is exiled, I may put a voyage counter on him. So he's on a voyage right now. So for four, I'm going to play my commander, Ranar, the ever watchful. It still comes in tapped. Two, three, flying vigilance. The first card you foretell each turn costs zero to foretell. Whenever you exile one or more cards from your hand and or permanence from the battlefield, create a one, one white spirit creature token with flying. Let's go beginning of end step. Wall of Omens is gonna be exiled, giving me another counter, creating a spirit, tap spirit. Wall of Omens ETBs again, I draw a card. Yeah, no, okay. chipping it. Go ahead. I untap, draw for turn. All right, I'll play a scrubland for turn. I'll play a wood swim teeth. Mm -hmm. I guess since you're the threat right now and I can't block you anyways, I will swing at you for four. I will then sacrifice the wind swim heath. I will then draw a card. I'm gonna take four now. That looks like a happy lynch face. Well, lynch face. I mean, he's happy not to see more lands, I guess. I have all this mana. I'll ship it. We're untapping. Draw. I didn't turn. even die to the commander damage. <laughs> no, you didn't. Uh, die. As as expected, forest for turn. Go to combat. Pause. I I missed my sword of feast and famine trigger when I attacked you. By the way. So what would have happened differently? I would have untapped just... four plus two from uh, one, two, three, four, five more floating mana. So then, what would you do then? I would tap the three forests. Yes. For six. Lose that one. But you're using the mana, you're paying into that ability. Uh, yeah, yeah, and then I pay four. So then you, then, so you lose, this goes you up to 12. Two. This, and this so goes that up goes up to 12. 12. So then yes. now we'll just switch it up. So this will be the two mana you can do, and this is the 12 minutes only for creature ability. Mm -hmm. That's what it would look like. We caught it now, everyone. Thank you, sorry. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so I've got 12 mana reserved just for creatures and two that I can spend on, on any ability. Okay. I'm gonna play a forest for turn. Okay. Go to combat. I guess I'll, I'm gonna swing Omnath. This way and crater hoof this way. I'm gonna respond. Okay. I'm gonna pay one and I'm gonna worldly tutor. I don't know yeah. if that matters. I'm only gonna search if I'm not dead, but I think I'm dead, right? Uh, I think you, you are. You are dead. dead. You're dead. Yeah. So how how big is it currently? So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This up to ten. That is enough to pump Omnath to lethal commander damage here, yeah. and then crater hoof is coming this way. I'll take five. Taking five. Okay. When the damage goes through, I'm gonna untap my lands, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna ship it over there. Okay, all right. Untap, upkeep, draw. Play a Opal Palace, and that will give me another counter on the Cosima. I think you've had your fun. What, you're gonna end the fun? Did just ruin two people. <laughs> Tapping three, <laughs> I'm going to Banishing Light Omnath. Omnath? Oh, okay. So when it enters the battlefield, exile target non land permanent opponent controls until Banishing Light leaves the so battlefield. There is a zone change, so you can put it in the command zone. Yes, it will. And Raynar. Um, and uh, Raynar. Does this say you control? Nope. Whenever a creature is exiled from the battlefield, Put a one-one counter on it. So it looks like it looks like the fun of all my floating mana is is gonna, is, poof. is poof. I will put Omnath <laughs> back in the command zone. Okay, he so. intentionally just so. let it happen. I don't know what you're talking about. He knew I was dying. Let's have a bit of fun. How come you haven't used the mana to level this up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we get. I get up to a one four. Let's go. Doesn't it make all Two. your creatures tap for mana? Isn't though? that a mana ability? Yeah, you can only do it during. A it's a sorcery speed. speed. It's okay. obviously a sorcery. Oh, that yeah. sucks. I can't throw you all my mana in right now. Should have done that before you pass. I mean, if I knew our Omnath was going away, I would have. I'm so. surprised you didn't do I'm it. I'm surprised you didn't do it anyway. Just to do it. I just had. Tw I just had twenty mana just like achievement Doesn't unlocked. Fully, fully, fully upgraded Draga. I will tap four. We're having more fun? For Brago, King okay. of Eternal. So, I respect Brago. My first build of Commander. I must respect the Brago. So, I have a 6-6, six, six, and what do you have open? I have a 2-3, Savala of the Heart of the Wilds. So, Soul Herder is going to swing at you, and so is Ranar overhead. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's keep Savala around eight total. Yep. 
Raynor has vigilance. Uh, Raynor has vigilance. I'm going to go to the beginning of end step. Wall of Omens is going to go up to six. Wall of Omens is going to let me draw a card. I'm also going to have another spirit on deck. But I'm happy that they're having fun. Chance if I could have dealt with all of you at once, I would have. That one is darn kids. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and pass the turn. All right, I'm going to untap. If I get another forest, you might be able to see me leveling up Draga Tree Speaker. Omnath only cost you five right now. Recast Omnath. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tap Land of War Elves and Sylvala to create five uh, green mana to cast my commander Omnath. Wilderness Reclamation for four. At the beginning of your end step, untap all lands you control. Yeah, let's equip swords to Crater Hoof. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna send Crater Hoof over. Is over Red trample? Rover, send Crater right over. Yeah, seven, seven, <laughs> no trample. Crater right over. Block with the spirit. <laughs> Incredible. Right. Then I'm going to float one green mana. That's I'm gonna go to end step and untap my lands. Okay. Yep. Go, that's you. On tap, upkeep, raw. <laughs> Blocking all day. Yeah. Let's go ahead and play another play an island. I'm not enjoying this as always control of matchup, but we got it going here. Well, if you didn't kill me, I could have maybe helped you. <laughs> yeah, sure, 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 sure. Could have uh, used uh, the other players to you your advantage. No, he could have kept us yeah, in there. Yeah, was awesome. You were so blinded by us that Three. you were like. Both, both of you had the meanest Four. blinders on. Okay, right, Brago wasn't on the field uh, at the, at yeah, the time. Yeah, Brago's now a problem. Yes, yeah. but let's be fair. He just sat there knowingly let you Return to dust. Perfect. Are you exiling? No, I assume that. Okay. Cool. And that. Yeah, that makes sense. Yep. Both are exiled. I'm going to then tap three to then play Citygate Oracle. Seagate Oracle is a 1-3 human wizard. When Seagate Oracle enters the battlefield, look at the top two cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand, the other one to the library. All right, I'm going to put this into my hand, this into the bottom. Let's go do attack phase. So let's go ahead and do this. Brago, Spirits, Rain are, are going to all swing overhead at you. Two, three, four, five, six. Six grand total. Nothing to do about that. Brago, deal damage. I get to flicker an all non land permanence, which is going to be this, this, this. Let's do Brago and the Mindstone. So that's gonna give me another spirit. Any creature that gets exiled. So okay. there were three creatures that got exiled, so I'm up to nine. The little soul herder that could from yep. the very beginning of the game. Pretty just... much. Banishing light. Let's go on that. Joy. Let's send him back to the command zone just for a second time. He's... Creature is exiled. Yep, that's 10. Seagate Oracle is going to, I'm gonna Card. look at the top two cards. Too, yeah. It gets yeah, intense. This. The palms are sweaty. Yeah. He's the only one making decisions because I've got an empty head too, thanks to the discard shenanigans that were happening That's earlier. Right there for <laughs> I was me. coming after him next, but then I had to play so much defense, it literally didn't matter. Wall of Omens, gonna draw me a card. Rago. Mind Zone comes down. Got Beginning of end step, which is going to let me bounce Seagate Oracle, play it, get another spirit. And then look at the top two cards. Like that one. And then I'm gonna pass turn. Alrighty then, untap. Oh, it's right there. That's it. <laughs> there was just all big swingy yeah, yeah. swingies. I didn't attack once. By I the way. was swinging every time. I had a first right death touch. Why wouldn't I attack? Because you need a blocker. Well, nope, I could never block what he was doing. We all left him alone. He just sat there giving me that look. I know the Azorius. Control look. <laughs> you know what the funny part is? My fiance actually helped me with this. She doesn't play magic, but she loves control. I'm gonna tap four yeah. into my castle to mm -hmm. make six. Mm -hmm. Tap my land war elves, cast Omnath, and pass the turn. At your end step, I'm gonna go ahead and crack Mary's landscape. Mm, snow covered island. Snow covered island. What you that I bled, you bled, just, bled through water. That goes up to a. five. Okay. It's still on an exile, it's still on a journey? Yeah, it's still on a journey. When does it come home? Whenever I when, stop putting lands yeah, whenever, down. Whenever, whenever, <laughs> whenever. Play the land to get him coming back. Meandering river, into the battlefield tapped. Is Why that a full tap land with no other benefit? Yeah, pretty much. Oh my <laughs> gosh. And you guys with your dual and lands over there. I know, you're gonna be winning with a tapped land, meandering. I get to draw five cards. One, what's, what's the two, three, four. Something that other like banishing light type thing. Five. I'm gonna tap one to play. Soul Ring, there's that. Yeah. yeah. One, 
to play Hero Bredegard. It's a 1-1 one, one human warrior. Whenever you exile one or more cards from your hand and or permanence from the battlefield, you put that many 1-1 one, one counters on Hero Bredegard. As long as Hero Bredegard has five or more counters on it, it has flying and is an angel in addition to its other types. As long as Hero Bredegard has 10 or more 1-1 one, one counters on it, it has indestructible and is a god in addition to its other types. I'm going to then foretell a card. For free. For free. Finally, you did it with a deck. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> the, first, first the first commander. Uh, there's a spirit there. Yeah. And also, here, Bredegard gets a 1-1 one, one counter. Let's go two, three, four, five. four, five. Let's go Cloud Blazer. Oh, draw, draw two, two cards. cards. Gain two life. Draw two cards. Ooh, gain one, two life when the Brago figures it. Two. Yep. I'm going to go attack. Brago, spirits. Four spirits. Four spirits. And Raynar. And we're going to all swing. So I'm gonna tap like this to Beast within Brago. You're gonna Beast within Brago. So I'm floating by two into this. Minus one, one, I have made five. Out. I have six mana, use three of it for Beast within on the Brago, because that's the scariest. Exactly. It's not gonna make a difference when he kills me next turn. But oh, <laughs> he's digging. He's digging. Yeah, Brago dies and becomes a 3-3. Three, three. And so then I take six life. four, five, six. Mm -hmm. Two more commander damage, down to four. Second main phase. <laughs> oh wait, I guess I still could put two cards on the top. There you go. Soul Herder is going to bounce Cloud Blazer. And you get two life. There. This. I got Spirit. You Thank you, Spirit. You have two you. untapped Spirits. Yep. Right mm-hmm. Then I draw two cards. I will go to discard. Must be nice to have cards in hand again. Like, I've been job decking for the best. I <laughs> like felt that way when out. I was drawing lands yeah. and had nothing to bring. Her, chain, her chains was really shutting you down, too. Yeah. Milling that vampire tutor. Tranquil <laughs> Cove and a. Adeline. Ooh. Resplendent Cathar. Is that it? Okay. Sorry. Piece of lens here. All right. Go ahead. We're going to untap, upkeep. We're going to draw for turn. Is this my salvation? It's a card? Yes. Let's pay six mana and cast See the Unwritten. Reveal the top eight cards of your library. You may put a creature card from among them onto the battlefield. Put the rest into your graveyard. If you control a creature with power four or greater, you may put two creature cards onto the battlefield instead of one. Okay. Ooh. So I have a creature with power four greatness, so I get to look at the top eight. And you put two down. I put two down instead of one. All right, goes reveal, I'm excited. All right, let's see, let's see, yeah. let's see if my salvation is here in the, in the top eight cards. Let's see what you do. Horus, Arborelf, Garrick, Foreign Clex, Ooh. Druid of Purification, Forest, Forest, and Vivian. So right. I think I choose Born Clex and Druid of Verification and Born Clex. Let's okay. go bottom your library. This is the one that you tap a land, doesn't it tap, right? Yes. And my, my lands tap for double. No, wait, I, need... I, I guess I'm gonna choose your soul ring. And you're free to blow up something if you want, but uh, soul ring? Yeah, soul ring soul ring's what I choose. Okay. And then and then I can swing, but he's got chump blockers for days. I have no trample. Okay. You don't have any mana to so this was all. Oh, do you want, okay, you, you want me to level up Draga Tree Speaker? No, no, no. <laughs> do no. it once. No, 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 level up. No, because he'd get bigger. Are you waiting to do that in response? I can I can do that in response. Okay, uh, that's all I'm saying. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I can do Le that in response. Level it anytime. up once. <laughs> but I don't just think he once. needs it because he has four, uh, four yeah. things. Yeah. I just want to see you get another counter. Uh, untap, upkeep, draw. What's going to happen? Absolutely. Those only four that can attack, though. There are six. Yeah, and I also have. Oh, I'm sorry. I have Raynar. Yes, I and forgot the Cloud Blazer. Yep. Yeah. So, so just swing out. Swing. Do you have responses? I, ha I, have, I have no responses, no blockers. You can no. level up Jarga Tree Speaker for Eile. At, at sorcery speed, I can. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's why I asked That's you why I to do it on my turn. Oh. That's why I asked you to Okay, well, you just died. <laughs> and uh, This is Randy's awesome. first win. Yes. Let's go. Hey, this is a big deal. Yes. You, Fair you, magic you, wins you stick today. Along, yes. You stuck Fair around long enough to, to win. Yeah. It was so much fun. I love playing with you guys. I, I don't know if I made any friends here um, oh, you did. by playing, uh, but uh, I, I had a great time. <laughs> like, you're not my friend. De declined the friendship nope. there. Yeah. Yeah. She but, did not uh, accept your friend request. <laughs> it was a lot you of were, fun. You were like hidden or just unread. <laughs> you left just him, left you left him, him unread. Red. 
<laughs> yeah. yeah, unread, unchecked. Yeah, my dad got to do his thing, and it was a, it was a great time. Dude, it was cool seeing it. You you did you definitely did some thing. I even you know I mean my dad kind of did his thing. I just I just went into bad draws. You were very, pretty impressive. You definitely slowed me down that I had to just keep dredging and I just didn't have enough to do anything with it. You stopped me. Huh? You stopped me a lot. Until until I didn't. Yes. Until I was dead. And then you were you were the chains were free. Yes, because the You should have killed him first and then dealt with me. I, I could not in, in good conscience. The fair magic that was happening. <laughs> yeah, One yeah, land for turd. <laughs> Soul Don't order ever ignore <laughs> the Azorius player, period. I do not care. It's not a great 1v1 matchup for sure. Hey guys, thank you so much for being on the show. It was hey, great really appreciate thank it. You so much. Great win thank getting you. your first win yeah. on the show, Randy. Yeah. Good, Good way to do it. Win, we even, we even kind of were talking about that you could slip away, but we still let it happen. <laughs> yeah. And you still, you still just kept quiet, kept your head down, and, and avoided us attacking you. <laughs> Again, every other Friday, watch more I Hate Your Deck. And if you can support, join our Patreon. It really helps to keep the show going. Plus, you might end up like the show like Randy did and win and beat us in the face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take care, guys. Peace. Bye. If you want to support I Hate Your Deck, please consider joining our Patreon. It's an excellent community that we have built with people from around the world where we play magic in our Discord using Spell Table. If you haven't had a chance to play online magic yet, try out our Discord. It's a great community where people are gaming daily. And every Thursdays we have Commander Day where people play all day and night, but the community's gotten so big, Commander Day is almost every day at I Hate Your Deck. What's up? It's time for the Patreon shout outs. I'd like to thank Travis, Alex Lundquist, and Kitza. Thanks guys. If you want a shout out, you need to be a tier four or tier five patron where we give shout outs. Now we love all of our patrons, but it's just one of the perks of being a tier four or tier five patron. Without you patrons, we wouldn't be where we are today and we wouldn't be able to keep making content. So thank you so much for helping us make this show a reality. And we're really excited to keep bringing you great content for the years to come. I can't wait to be able to bring my son on the channel once he gets old enough, let me tell you. I hate your deck. Los Angeles is the sunny home of we the wizards of the West Coast. The guests we fuck with on this epic show. I hate your deck. Guitar solo. All right. Competition is toe to toe. From Cash's Mars to fucking Post Malone. The best commanders and the lowest blows. I, I hate, hate your death. death. We're on a roll! <laughs> black, black, wow! So attack, play your cards, and say go. Be you white, blue, black, red, green, or gold. It's a counter spell? What's the deal, bro? I, I hate, hate your, your death. death! Now enjoy the show. your deck join the i hate your deck patreon exclusive discord to get the various benefits and be able to play commander daily with people from around the world in our global community